Hello and welcome to a very quick guide to the Powder Toy, and I'm saying very quick because it will be. First off, powdertoy.co.uk is where the game is. You can just Google the Powder Toy, and if this is the website it brings you to, it's correct. You can click download, open up the zip file it gives you, grab this stuff, and throw it into a folder. Why do you want to throw it into a folder? Because it makes files when you run it, so unless you want all this stuff to be thrown onto your desktop, you should just listen to me. Just put it in a folder and then run it. All right, now we're in the powder toy. So it's time to learn the controls. First off, by scrolling, you can change the size of your brush. Fun fact, by pressing tab, you can change the shape of your brush. So you want a really big triangle. Very good. By right clicking, you can use the secondary tool. Let's say you want a circle hole in the middle of this to make it into a broken triforce because it's not actually three triangles. Congratulations, you can do that. What if you want to do something else with right click? Well, luckily for you, these categories on the right have all of the different elements and stuff you can use, which you can just, you know, choose. We can go over and we can uh, right click with acid and we can left click with water and then we can do either. Left click, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click, left click. <laughs> I mean you can set left click and right click to different things. That That's the point I am trying to make if you're not getting it. That it, I'm trying to make a point. Look, we have a very warm and pressurized circle of happiness now. Mmm, very nice. See? So much learning is happening. You also have the search function in the very bottom right, the bottom category. You can't see it right now, but trust me, it's there. And then you can just right click on that to get back to your deletion. And then look, ooh, the pressure is causing it to fly out. In the powder toy, you have temperature, which is simulated, you have pressure, which is simulated, and then you have the actual particles, which are simulated. And don't forget about gravity, which if you hit these up here, you can change a bit of this. Uh, ambient heat will make it so that heat can just transfer through the air without needing material. Um, Newtonian gravity will make it so that like gravitational objects and stuff work, which is really exciting. And then we have a few other lesser known things, like the, every single number on your keyboard is going to give you a different type of display that shows useful stuff. Yeah, uh, my favorite one is 7, which is fancy, but sometimes things like velocity, persistence kind of neat, makes everything persistent. <laughs> and then uh, we got heat, heat's pretty neat. We can go to the tools, grab heat, and then look. Whoa, it's hot. State changes and stuff work like you would expect in physics, so heat something up enough and it'll melt. There's some special things, though, like diamond, which literally will not break, so make sure to read the description on elements when you're playing with them. You can get the description just by hovering over like that. But now you're asking, Spike, I want to build cool things, and I don't know how to draw a straight line, because, let's be honest, if you go like this, that is that is not a straight line. I actually probably couldn't even make a straight line if I was really trying to. Yeah, see, this is my attempt at making a straight line. Probably a result of my mouse sensitivity being ridiculously high, and if I turn on sniper mode, maybe I can get... Oh, yeah. Oh, nope, I messed up, see? Nope, so we need something better. You know what we can do that's better? We can hold down shift. Wah! Do you see that? Hold down shift. Oh, no, that's control. I'll, I'm gonna teach you that in a second. Shift, click, drag, boom, you've made a line. Control, click, drag, boom, you've made a square. Control, right click, drag, boom, you've made a negative square. Exciting controls right here, guys. You can't get much better. Say I make something that I really like. Um like a circle. This was my entire life's work right here. I made a circle with gold in it, and I don't want to have to do it again. Wow, I even broke it a little bit. Well, we can do Control c drag over, and do Control v to copy it. How exciting. But let's say I don't like it like this and I want to flip it. Well, thankfully for me, I can press R and it'll rotate. This is kind of hard to tell though, so let's go ahead and create something that's a little bit more obvious when it's flipped. We'll write Spike. That's a cool guy's name right there. Say I want upside down spike, we can copy it, and we can press R. Boom, look at that, that's pretty nice. But what if I wanted to, uh, instead of having it like upside down like that, I wanted to have it flipped vertically. Well I can hold down shift, and then do R to flip it left and right, and I can hold down control and hit R. Okay, no, it's, it just shift does something. 
You can do the mix though, and there we go. I have mirrored it by doing both of those together. And now it's like mirrored. How cool is that? We can put like a line here and I can be like, whoa. Do you remember the line control? Hopefully you do. That is holding down shift and dragging. Good, good enough. All right, so those are most of the building controls I know in the powder toy, but there's a few more easy slash useful ones. Z will let you get really up close and personal, and you can even scroll while holding Z to increase or decrease the amount of pixels you can see. Have you ever wanted cre to create a mini reactor that is so small that it's cute? Well, look at this. Mmm. Very nice. All we gotta do is grab a little bit of... A little plutonium! And throw a little bit of neutrons in there, and bam! What a successful attempt. Fantastic. Alright, there's your basic building controls. Um, all are very useful. Now I'm going to run you through some of the more obvious, but you know, helpful reactions and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and build a little bit of a thing. So, whoosh. Some useful elements. Rapid heat conductor is kind of invincible, but it transfers heat really well, so if you want to, like, send heat through a system, use that. Insulation does the exact opposite. It'll block heat, which is really useful. Ceramic gets stronger under pressure. You want to, like, have some sort of reaction that gets really pressurized and you don't want it to explode. Let me explain to you why this is useful. Let's say we have a brick thing and we have a ceramic thing, and in both of them we want... Darn it. <laughs> In both of them, we want water, and we're gonna heat up the water so that it becomes steam. Now, you know that when steam is made, it's going to increase the pressure because, you know, gas expands, fun stuff. All right, maybe we didn't put enough water in to make this an obvious solution, but we'll go ahead and grab the air tool to make this a little bit easier. Look at that! Too much pressure, like 20, and the brick just absolutely died. It just broke and gave up. But you know what won't break and give up? That's right, ceramic, because ceramic gets stronger under pressure. To a certain point. I mean, we're at 256 pressure. But you can tell that that survived for a lot longer. And then uh, we've got our friends, which just legitimately won't break, like titanium. Because, you know, hashtag metal gang. So I don't know if it'll break at a certain point. I don't think it will. No, no, it literally does not care about the pressure at all. All right, other things that are useful. Nuclear chemistry is pretty cool in this game. You can go ahead and grab yourself another container. And deuterium will always pretty much react with... Particles. <laughs> it's being a little bit weird because of the pressure we added before. But watch this, if I throw protons at it... Okay. Just give it a moment. If you throw protons at it, it'll make more protons! And protons move through things and transfer heat to them, so... It's pretty hot. We can go ahead and do the same thing again, but this time with neutrons. Neutrons actually bounce off of particles and act more like they exist. But they don't get nearly as hot. Well, they get hot where the reaction is, but it's not gonna, like, fly through a city and uh, destroy everything. Well, I guess it could, you know? It's up to you how you want to play with this stuff. <laughs> and then we have a lot of other things. One of my favorites is colloids. Colloids are pretty fun. Uh, colloids turn hard when the pressure is high. Um, so, for example, if we get a box... Box. And you have... Oh! I just for I forgot a really important one. See, this is why I'm doing this. Uh, if you hold down Control and Shift, you can fill. Look at that. That's super useful. And let's say I throw like a bomb at this. You'll notice that it'll harden. It'll stay nice and hard where it hits to protect itself from the pressure. I like colloids. Colloids are fun. Alright, so other than that, I mean, we went through basically all of the simple and useful um, controls and a few fun things. Um, things I'd say to keep in mind is walls are pretty neat. You can do fun things with walls. Most of them make sense, they say what they do, like a basic wall will block everything. They don't have the same resolution as powder though, so they can look a little bit wacky, but they do interact like that. 
But you may be wondering, what am I doing? Well, fan is something you may have to be taught. So fan, if you put down, if you use the shift and drag line tool, it tells it which direction for the fan to go in. And because we made the fan go up and it's a really big fan, it's going to pull the water up. How exciting. It's also creating a massively low pressure down there, which would probably break almost anything. Not ceramic, though. Oh, no, it actually will break ceramic. Look at that. <laughs> Sad ceramic has been murdered. Ah, because it's low pressure, not high pressure. Quartz seems to be doing fine. I'm certain brick What Really? Ooh! I didn't think brick would survive. Alright. Anyways, you got that. You got Streamline, which is kind of cool. It shows you the direction that the uh, pressure is going. It follows it. Look at that. That's really neat. <laughs> really is something, isn't it? And if we can expect, if we put something at the exact spot that the streamline is, it should get pulled in kind of the same direction. Yeah, you see how it goes around in the same way? It's very good for design and building things. Alright, so we've gone through basically everything. Um, now on the bottom left, you have this very, very useful button which lets you open other people's stuff. Like, look at this. Wow. That is a big city. So, using the things you've learned, we can hit tab. My tab key's broken. Okay, my t Oh no, it's because I'm on wall mode, and not pattern mode. Alright, we can hit tab, get a big circle, scroll, right click, now we have a circle. We can go ahead and fill it with deuterium. Very nice. Then we can hit it with some neutrons. And would you look at that? Hmm. You can go ahead on any save you want, blow things up, melt things, build things. That is your choice and your choice alone. So I hope these basic controls are enough to get you started. Um, if you want to know more specific chemistry and stuff, I guess I could make some more quick videos like this. But that's going to be it for today. Peace out.